Brooke Shields talking for the first time about her challenging recovery after a gym accident left her wondering if she'd ever walk again. Deborah Roberts sat down with her for the interview. It sounds like you're saying the ordeal has been kind of a blessing. I think it's almost been the biggest blessing to date because I realize what a fighter I am. For Brooke Shields, the journey started as she was nearing an ending. It was late January. The 55-year-old actress, model, and beauty icon was in top form, finishing the 13th day of a 14-day workout plan. There you go. I was energized. I wasn't exhausted. I had been eating even healthier you were and in the not zone. drinking. I was in the zone and never dreaded it. And I, we finished the workout, and I went in the back um, on my own, and I went on this balance board. And then you have to balance. And um, a young man had said, oh, that looks really hard. And I said, you know, it's only really as hard as you commit to, to learning it or doing it. And I turned back, which you just, you never take your focus off. And, and I flew up in the air with such force and I landed so heavy and so hard and with such musculature and such velocity and such height. Um, on your leg? On my hip on the top part of my femur, and it just snapped it. Did you know right away? Did you hear the break? I felt the, how solid the impact was. I didn't remember hearing anything. The only thing I could keep saying was that I could feel my toes because I just knew that I couldn't move, but I wanted to make sure I wasn't paralyzed. And I kind of came to, I mean, inches away from hitting my head on a, on a, um, a weight bench. Mm. I mean, there's so many things that could have happened that just, I feel so lucky. I feel so lucky to be alive. What was going through your mind? I, I don't know, remember how I was. I mean, I just started screaming. I was just screaming. And it was, I, I've never screamed like that. I mean, not even in childbirth. <laughs> Paramedics quickly got her to a hospital. Brooke was rushed into surgery to insert two metal rods near her hip. The next day, she recalls waking up in excruciating pain. I had to get rushed back into surgery because my bone had popped off the device because it hadn't, it wasn't anchored. With five more rods and a metal plate, she thought her healing was about to begin. Then another scare, an infection in her arm at the site of her IV. Once fear kind of kept in, that's when I started to falter. I think that's when I called you. <laughs> you and I, in fact, let's talk about that. You and I have known each other a little while, and we just happened to be emailing when you were in the hospital, and I called you, and I couldn't believe it. And there you are by yourself, too. How frightening was this for you, Brooke? I don't think I've ever been more afraid because I was helpless. She spent two lonely weeks in the hospital. No visitors, not even family allowed because of COVID restrictions. How did your family react? I had to stay calm for them because I was never coming home. You know, and then the one time I did come home, I got rushed back in to the hospital for them to do surgery on the infection, which ended up being a staph infection. My kids actually asked me if they thought I was going to die. Bad boy and, and the good, good, good boy. boy. After another two weeks in the hospital, she was able to go home. What is your rehab like? I'm having to work very hard. I'm doing it every day. I'm usually taking off on the weekends, but I'm also getting osteopath work and I'm getting massage and um, infrared sauna. I made it downstairs today by myself. Brooke Shields has found strength by documenting her journey on social media, offering hope to others who may be on their own difficult journey. If I can turn it into anything positive or I can teach my girls, yeah, stuff's going to happen in your life and how you respond is going to define you and adversity will reveal you. It won't make you as much as it will reveal you. Adversity will reveal you, that's interesting. Because you see who you are, you see what you're made up of. Then you think like, wow, I, I think I need to share this. I need, especially women, I, I want them to know that, that they deserve to feel good about themselves and be healthier and happier and bigger, live a bigger life. For Good Morning America, Deborah Roberts, ABC News, New York. Perfect.
Well, I appreciate Incredible Deborah bringing this. Yeah. Yes, boy, it does reveal you. It does. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.